Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Today we're looking at two new sharpeners that I got from Sharpal. So the name is Sharpal, S-H-A-R-P-A-L. We have the 162N Diamond Whetstone Sharpener. We've got two different sizes. This is six inches by two and a half, and then this is eight inches by three inches. So basically, basically what you have here is a system that you can put really solidly down onto a uh, table and then you can sharpen your knife. So on the bottom here, you can see it's kind of like a rubberized, texturized coating there. So that's gonna lock in, it's gonna keep it from moving all over the place. Same thing for the large one. So you have that on the bottom. You can see I've used this one quite a bit. Um, I was resharpening an ax just the other day, like really having to work it for a while as I was putting a new edge on it. So the way the, uh, the um, two sharpeners work, obviously larger and smaller, you have this little um, square on the top and basically you have different angles 14 17 20 and 25 let me just show you real quick we'll do it on the top one here let's say we want to go at a 17 degree angle let's see if I can do it like this so this is gonna now be at 17 degrees when you come down off this make sure it's flush and then when you come down off this it'll be at 17 degrees if you turn it this way it's at 14 degrees so when you come down off this it'll be at 14 degrees Obviously, if you want to go up to a steeper angle, 25, when you come down off this, it'll be at 25 degrees. So these things do move. They have a magnetic um, base there on the bottom. I'd like to see a little bit more magnetic oomph to this thing, um, just so it doesn't move at all. But it does It does stay in place pretty nicely. Um, for both the stones, you have, let me flip this over, you have a more coarse grit on this side, and then a more fine grit on this side. And you can see here, it says coarse is 325 and then your extra fine is 1200 so you know whatever one you want to use obviously you set it up that way let me show you here again coarse 325 on this side and then extra fine 1200 on this side now another cool thing about these is that you can store um, extra materials that you want let me move this one out of the way here you can store extra materials that you want within the case so basically open this up and inside there's storage now um, there was like a foam insert in here but I took it out because it just took up extra space but both of these have storage inside so you can put like here's the instructions that came with it you can put other things inside um, maybe you have a um, maybe this is your um, your stone here but maybe you have like a sharpening rod that's small and compact you could keep it in there maybe you have a leather strop you can keep it in there as well you can see my hands are filthy just from all the, uh, this is all the, from all the uh, work I was doing on that axe the other day. So like I said, I've been using the large one, mostly because I've been using it for large blades, the uh, Condor Selknam, and then the axe as well. This one's going to be great for smaller blades. Um, price point is going to be a little bit different, so you're looking at $39.95 for this one and $69.95 for this one. So different people like different methods as far as sharpening, like a rod versus a stone. You know, uh, some people like the, uh, like the hockey puck style thing for, um, for axes, but what I can tell you is that they've done a good job. And this one, when I really worked that axe, I mean, I, I took off a lot of rust and stuff and got a really nice shiny edge on that. I'm still working it more, I'm not totally done, but these guys have both worked well. I've got links to both these uh, down below. If you wanna click the uh, show more tab, you can head over to Amazon and pick one of these up if you're interested in it. If you do go over to the Amazon page, there's actually some videos from the company that you can watch these in use as well. So uh, yeah, these are really um, these have been really good so far. Um, I've got uh, some. I've got a Ken Onion Work Sharp. I've got the Field Sharpener. Uh, but these are definitely ones that I'm going to be keeping at home up in my studio here to uh, to work on knives as well. I'd be interested to hear from you guys what you're using for uh, sharpening axes and knives and things like that. So go ahead and leave a comment. As always, thanks for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.